Uh, Eldin, thank you very much for the opportunity. You've had a full day here. We are now done. You've selected the players. Uh, but before we go to, into those details, can you please tell us about the football project and the Africa to Europe project? Okay, so um, the football project is a sports management company that we started. It's based in South Africa. Um, and yeah, the Africa to Europe um, project or the concept that falls under um, the football project is basically a concept that we came up with a few months ago. Um, and it was just a way and means of us uh, creating opportunities for, for African players um, to showcase their talent in Europe. So, um, as you know, um, there's a lot of uh, African players playing in Europe, but that's mainly from West Africa. So countries like Nigeria, um, Ghana, Ivory Coast, you know, and we've basically been trying to figure out um, why do we have such little South African players playing in, in Europe or more from the South, Southern African countries. Um, and, you know, one, one of the reasons are... are the, the stature, you know, obviously Southern African players are much smaller in stature compared to the West Africans. But if you look at the past years with your Lucas Hadebes and your El Rio van Yerdens, your um, Steven Pinars, you know, all of these players did very, very well in the European game. And at the end of the day, it's, it's you know, part of our mandate to try and uh, um, bring back the glory days, you know. I mean, we have very, very talented players in our, in our country and then also here in, in Southern Africa. And, you know, that was the, the reason why we've started this project. So, yeah, the under-21 age group is basically the ages that the European game targets. So they don't really want any uh, players over those ages. Um, the obvious reasons of, of, you know, working with young players and still being able to develop them further, you know, before maybe selling them on to bigger European clubs or, you know, allowing those players to take them up and and go for, for domestic cups and, and, and league titles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you, you're going around the country doing uh, trials and trying to recruit players. Can you take us step by step from the recruitment up until uh, the end where they get to Europe? What, what, what do you do and how do you go about it? Yeah, so um, what happens is we've, we've started an online uh, uh, platform and we're using our social media accounts and then we also have an online registration form um, whereby players can, can register for these trials. Um, so yeah, there's, there's been an influx of, of, of players registering for the trials and you know, the standard of football is, is quite good, to be honest. Yeah, in Joburg, we've, we've um, got a good display um, today and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Cape Town and Durban in, in a week's time. And um, yeah, so what's going to happen is we're selecting between a, a squad between 20 to 23 players and then um, once we've selected that squad, everybody will know by the 1st of November and then um, they will have basically three months to do fundraising because obviously this is a private company not an NPO or so forth so it's very difficult to get sponsors on board um, and therefore we've decided to go with this financial model of you know players funding their own um, way um, so yeah so we've created a platform we're gonna uh, help the players um, in terms of fundraising um, we also provide them with sponsorship letters and give them uh, um, examples and ideas of how they can go about getting the funding, which we've done in previous years. Um, so yeah, in February, the first two weeks in February, we'll have a training camp. So that's all the players that have been selected from around the country. They will come together in PE, we'll have a two-week training camp. Um, the reason for that is to, to get the guys to play together for the first time, build relationships, um, play a couple of friendly games, get some match fitness going. And then the last two weeks in Feb, that's when we'll be going to Turkey to go and play against professional clubs from all over Eastern Europe. Um, and then the aim of this program is obviously to get these boys scouted and that's where we will come in and uh, uh, negotiate contacts for them and, and do our best to make sure that, you know, a few of them or a lot of them can go on and secure uh, uh, professional contracts in Europe. Okay. Uh, Coach, I've heard that uh, obviously, like you said, the, the boys need to go and do a bit of fundraising after they've been informed that they are part of the group. Uh, uh, 30,000 has been mentioned. Can you go into details as what that 30,000 entails? Yeah, so basically the 30K is um, going to be divided into two. So the money is used for the training camp that's going to be in PE for two weeks. So that's food, accommodation, transport within the city, um, a little bit of uh, uh, extramural activities that they can do um, during the day after training, that type of thing. Um, and then, yeah, also covers the visa. Um, it covers their flights to and from Turkey, the accommodation in Turkey, um, our administration costs, social media costs, did a lot of advertising. So yeah, we're very transparent with um, how the money is being used for the program. 
um, because obviously there's been a notion that you know this type of program is similar to the scams it's been happening in the past so just we just want to make sure that we are as transparent as possible um, so that we can carry on building the brand okay uh, you mentioned that uh, some people have said it's a scam uh, maybe because of the 200 uh, trial fee uh, but uh, what can you say to ensure South Africans in general and those uh, young people who are still interested to join the two remaining trials in Devon and Cape Town that this is not a scam and that those who, who are selected will get an opportunity to go showcase their talent in Turkey. Yeah, I'm actually happy to, to, to have a platform like this to address this, this topic because it's, it's, it's a big issue in South Africa. You know, you get a lot of uh, fake scouts, fake agents pretending to you know, to, to help players and, and, and host trials where there's opportunities for players to go further in the game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's obvious. I mean, we have, you know, people like Clinton Larson on board. The videos are circulating on our social media platforms. Um, Joseph Makanya was supposed to be with us today, but unfortunately he had, uh, you know, the MTN uh, campaign that he's busy with and he couldn't, couldn't make it in time. Um, so Ashraf uh, Hendricks was here. It's, you know, amazing to have people of their caliber uh, be a part of a program like this because it, it's, it's a big initiative, you know. Um, Chris and Joe will be with us in Cape Town next week. And then uh, yeah, Tabang Matuka was with us uh, in Bloemfontein on Friday. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, we've, we've done good advertising. We've been very transparent with what we do. Um, and I think, you know, after today, there's, there's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of talk about the program and that it's actually legit and that we, we are out here to do um, good work and, and, and try to improve the standard of football in South Africa and, and, and Southern Africa, because that's our, that's our aim, that's our mandate. Okay. Now that you've addressed those administrative issues, uh, you've been to PE, you've been to Bloom, Johannesburg today, uh, Deben and Cape Town are coming. What do you make of the standard in the three uh, cities that you visited? Um, in all honesty, uh, Port Elizabeth and Bloom um, have a lot, have a long way to go over there. Um, you know, I really, uh, with the sports management company that we've started, you know, uh, part of our, our objectives is, is is to go out to you know all the regions in the country, basically, you know, set up programs where we can improve um, development in our country because because that's a big problem at the moment. You know, so we need to f find ways and means of, of getting funding in place so that we can go around to these countries and make sure that money is used for the right reasons, you know, and that players are in our country are benefiting from, from development programs because, you know, a lot more is needed. So, um, yeah, it's Bloemfontein, uh, a lot of talent in that place, but um, I don't think the right players really showed up uh, with all due respect to the trials. Um, because at the end of the day, this is a massive, massive uh, platform for players to go in and play professional, you know, so we want players that are ready, you know, players that are that are ready to step up and, and play professional football, you know, not players that are still here to come and develop and, you know, because, yeah, that's not that's not why we are here and, and why we've created this platform, um, which is Africa to Europe. So Cape Town and Durban is going to be very good. I can I can I can vouch for that for sure. OK, uh, another question. You, you've been uh quoted as saying that in South Africa there are players who are playing in the ABC Motsepe League in the men's regional league that are good enough to play uh, in, in Europe can you go into details on that yeah I mean uh, you know I've been working uh, for this agency for a while now and then prior to that also did a lot of other work with other with other agencies and agents uh, respectively and um, based on what I've seen you know I'm very very confident that we have players in our amateur ranks um, even that can go on and, 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 and perform well uh, in professional football in Europe, you know, countries like Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, the uh, majority of the Eastern European uh, uh, countries, but, you know, all over Europe. Uh, I think, I definitely think our players are talented enough, but they need the exposure, number one, and they need the opportunity to um, further improve or, or develop, you know, because, like I said, that's lacking in our country. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think so. And to be honest, we'd like to have the backing and the support of, you know, the PSL, um, the Motsepe League, the SAB League, and then definitely the MDC as well, because that is supposed to be our main, our main focus. But I think it's going to take a bit of time to, to build the credibility and then also build the relationships with the parties involved, uh, just to make sure that they can give us our backing. Um, because not every player in the MDC is going to go on to represent the, the, the club at PSL level. So we need to get them to understand that, uh, you know, there's other avenues that they could visit and, and, and maybe look at Europe, uh, European football as, a, as, a, as another platform for them to go and play professional football. 
Um, so yeah. And then thank you very much, my brother, and all the best going forward. Awesome. Thank you very much.